I see how browse though. Hello. Okay, let's find the screens. Okay. So like you see, we are a cloud service provider offering a real-time multi-channel communication platform inside web browser. Um, we offer a complete communication suite for your global business needs based on WebRTC technology. So, of course, we offer a free registration where you can use it for online calls or you can always upgrade to our paid packages and add additional users, colleagues, and actually make a close group similar to PBX. Um, so, you can log in to our back office, Mitya. I'm Great. So well, today we know different type of calls, like, of course, uh, ordinary calls, fax services, IVRs, auto, auto attendance, and etc. And we call them interaction points, like you see in the middle. So our main interaction point is HTML5 web phone. So can we open the web phone on the right screen? So our, our web phone is enabling inbound and outbound communication. Oh, this is there. So on the left screen, it's enabling inbound and outbound communication um, to online and also to public voice networks. So our web phone is fully featured communication device with variety of call control features like call transfer, call hold, retrieve, three-party conference, Etc. So we can also use it for additional communication channels like um, chat, SMS, and instant messaging. So, but now uh, we want to show you how to provision our new account with the DDI number, so to make us reachable from public network. So, Mitya, can we go to buy one number from San Francisco? So we are offering telephone numbers from more than 80 countries, so you can really set up your global presence in no time. Um, <coughs> um, but, uh, besides uh, this interaction point, you can always add additional points, uh, like I said, auto attendees, IVRs, etc. So, but let's back, let's go back to the phone number. So, we already have it. Yes, we already have it. Inside. Right. So we can try to call it now. So if I'm not reachable or if I'm not online, so I can use our other services like parallel ringing. So I configured parallel ringing before I entered my mobile phone number. So this call is now transferred also both devices. And I can always choose actually which device where I will answer the call. Of course, I will answer it inside browser because it's cheaper for me. And, um, so that's it. I will now let the word to Matei, our CTO. Um. Okay. Uh, leveraging web, RTC, and internet offers many new possibilities how we can reach browse tail users. Uh, for instance, uh, we can add click to call buttons uh, to web pages, enabling uh, the visitors to make direct calls and chat requests to customer care uh, departments. We can put QR codes on our products or marketing material, also enabling direct calls by simply scanning the QR code. Then we, have, we can put a signature to our emails so our contact addresses become active, offering capability of uh, callbacks between the recipients of our emails and the senders. Uh, we can simply integrate all these scripts just uh, by copying them from the, the provisioning, uh, provisioning tools back to the application. We also support uh, what we call a virtual business card. This business card contains uh, simple contact details, but it also has an active presence and uh, click to call buttons where you can initiate calls directly from the uh, business card. 
Uh, besides uh, simple point-to-point -point communication, we also offer group services. Uh, one of them is Meet Me conferencing. So you can make a video Meet Me uh, call between multiple platforms. The only requirement uh, we have is that the participants should ha have the WebRTC compatible web browser. Mitya will now show you the simple way how to initiate uh, Meet Me conference by defining uh, the type of meeting, defining the schedule, and we can add participants by simply listing their uh, email addresses or uh, selecting them from a contact list. We will now send the invitation and go automatically to our Meet Me room to wait the participants to join us in a conference call. On the other computer, we should uh, receive an email invitation which contains the attachment in iCalendar format, so it can be included in a schedule planner calendar uh, there are plenty of names uh, for that. This email also contains the call link. So when the user will call this link, it will be automatically entered to the Meet Me conference room. Uh, some of our other colleagues uh, will also join uh, to this conference, and we will leave the conference going on, and we will continue with the demonstration uh, of of a call handling uh, of a call from a QR code. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Go on. Thank so, uh, we can make uh, a call just simply by scanning the QR code. And this call will be now routed to a call center. In a call center, I just started the call center administrator uh, console where we can see that the call has reached the call center queue and will be now transferred to an operator. This is a Europe-based call center. It's 5 a.m. in the morning, so it's only one operator working. So, but still, uh, uh, we can uh, make a call intrusion into a call between an operator and a customer to assist uh, an agent to successfully complete the call. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Hello. Okay. Uh, hi. Thank you for, hi. Thank you for calling Browsetail, okay. a new generation uh, of well, our, service. Uh, wait solutions are based on one side WebRTC technology and on the other side uh, on thin client architecture. Uh, six months ago in Atlanta, I said that uh, we have a vision how to put the clients on a computers like that. Today, it is, has become a reality. We are already deploying the new call centers based on thin clients like that. Lowering the costs of deployment, lowering of maintenance, and of uh, operational costs. It, uh, it's also a much more secure solution because everything is centralized on a central location. Uh, that concludes uh, our presentation. If uh, you have any other uh, questions, you're more than welcome to join us on our booth number eight. So, thank you. Thank you.